Hello everyone, quick video today on the subject of clones. I wanted to ask you guys, are you sick of hearing about clone fragrances on my channel and maybe on YouTube fragrance review channels in general? A lot of people have strong opinions on this subject, uh, so it's a really important one and I genuinely need your feedback on this subject. So let's get into the intro sequence and the main video. Sorry, what? Oh yeah, and before we do that, don't forget to check out the link to the Parfums Vintage website in the description below. Hello, yes, welcome back. So thanks for joining me. So um, yeah, of course, I want to talk about this subject, clone fragrances. There are a lot of different companies making clone fragrances. My recent video about Dua fragrances got some very negative comments and comments saying, oh, it's becoming like the Mr. Smelly shopping channel and people who really seem to think that I've really overdone it because I've done quite a lot of reviews of Dua fragrances. Of course, Dua, one of the companies who clone usually really high-end niche stuff uh, for, for lower prices, but not super cheap prices. And there's a lot of hatred towards them. I've also featured other companies on my channel as well uh, and Parfums Vintage are re releasing a lot of stuff recently. I've got two fragrances for them, from them uh, it, it, that I've had delivered to me and I, I wanted to share them with you in a way and I've seen other reviewers do uh, King in no, Parfums Vintage, Pineapple Vintage King and Vanilla Intense uh, but you know I'm feeling like that's going to be too much going to annoy too many people so I'm feeling a bit wary about putting clone fragrances on the channel so I want to talk to you guys about it and get your feedback uh, so for example do a fragrances send me quite a lot of stuff they send me pretty much something to fragrances maybe each month and recently I've been reviewing them all and giving them space on my channel in all honesty because I do think their fragrances are interesting they perform well and they're copying some quite unusual stuff they're not just doing Aventus and Green Irish Tweed so I've had a, honestly a bit of natural enthusiasm towards the fragrances but I have to admit maybe I've overdone it a bit especially when I'm also doing other clone company stuff the Parfums vintage stuff again I really like their fragrances um, but they, you know they copy Aventus a lot maybe we don't need so many different versions of an Aventus copy and it can become very tiresome perhaps for some of you viewers. On the other hand uh, some of the people watching the channel have asked me please can you give us a review of Casino Royal Nights by Dua Fragrances well now I'm afraid to do it I'm not going to do I'm going to skip Dua Fragrances altogether throughout September because the backlash on the last video was quite hostile but some you know there were still more thumbs up than thumbs down some people were interested in the fragrances that I talked about and some people would like to hear for example about uh, the one Casino Royal Nights that they've sent me and you know, even by talking about it, some people are gonna say, well, I'm advertising it now. And of course, when these companies send us stuff for free, we're talking about it, we're reviewing it. I'm generally a positive reviewer. I don't usually dislike stuff strongly. And most of my reviews of these products have been positive. I do get sent stuff that I don't really like that much, and I tend just not to feature it on the channel. Uh, but maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should give more negative reviews. And so by giving positive reviews, of course, in one way, uh, from the point of view of the company, my review constitutes a nice advert for them, for their products, and that may not always be a good thing. Parfums Vintage send me most of what they release, and there's some really good ones, but now I'm feeling like I don't do another clone video for a while, so I'm gonna skip clones throughout the month of September, but I, would, I don't really want to be like some reviewers who say I won't feature clones at all on the channel, because I do know that some of my viewers genuinely are interested to hear about them. So I'm not, I, at this point, I'm not saying I will never uh, feature clones on my channel, but I'm gonna have at least one month where I don't. But I really genuinely want your feedback. Uh, if you don't like clone fragrances, please try and leave a constructive comment about why. Uh, and if you do like them, I do wanna hear from you guys too, because I think sometimes the angry people, the hostile people can be the most vocal. But if some of you really enjoy hearing about the latest stuff from Let's, I'll stop mentioning the companies in case you think that this is me trying to advertise them all. But you know, this company or that company who do clones, if you're interested to hear more and uh, you don't want me to skip those uh, fragrances, let me know because I need to know this. I want to know what my viewers like and dislike. Also, I don't want to be scared 
to uh, review fragrances that some of you may be really interested in just because there's a very vocal minority. So it wouldn't be nice really if there are viewers who would like to hear about it who can't hear about it because people are scared or because uh, trolly commenters make really aggressive negative comments. So I'm, you know, I want to swim against the tide a little bit and be open to anything and everything on my channel. I love to buy my own fragrances. I buy niche stuff, I buy vintage stuff, and I, I want to keep featuring all that on the channel. But I don't at this stage want to say I will never review a clone again. I think I probably will, and I'm hoping to feature some uh, in the future. But maybe only the really good ones, and maybe, you know, more like one video a month on clones maximum. I don't know. I need your feedback to tell me what you think is a healthy balance of what you'd like to hear about on the channel. How do you feel about clone houses? Is there a place for them? and what's a healthy limit of how many videos you want to see about them. So this video just genuinely an attempt to interact with you, my audience, my uh, viewers. I'm very grateful to all of you. I've got over 16,000 subscribers now. I want to keep the channel growing. I wanted to keep it genuine, keep my integrity. Of course I get stuff sent free. Uh, and I'm happy often to review those, but I don't want companies to think they can just send me anything they release and automatically expect a good review. That's not the case, but I am generally a, a positive reviewer because I tend to think all perfumes smell nice, just some nicer than others. Uh, but I really want to keep my channel uh, refreshing, interesting to the, the viewers and make you think that if anything's bad, not worth buying, I'm gonna let you know about that too. So let me know what you think. Quick plug at the end of this video, uh, I do have a written review blog where I review fragrances, a little bit of a different experience to watching a video. I'm gonna put the link to that in the description. Please go ahead and check that out. Uh, I'm really keen to build that side of my fragrance reviewing game. So there's quite a few reviews on there. The latest one is Ferrari's uh, uh, Bright Neroli. Good written review of that one, I think, on there, interesting. And my Instagram page is well worth following. I've got a few thousand followers on there, and I post a mini written review pretty much every day with my photo. So go ahead, check the links out in the description, and uh, check me out on Instagram and my written review, where I do some interesting stuff. I hope you'll agree. Thanks for joining me. Let me know what you thought about today's topic. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, Let's project. Bye-bye.